All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Slop, and today we're going to be taking a listen to Rush, A Farewell to Kings. Now, I'm guessing this album is going to be very, very good because I made a few notes here when I checked out the Wikipedia page. Why did I pronounce it like that? Wikipedia page. Uh, this was the first album uh, recorded outside of Toronto, so uh, that's really interesting. You know, they traveled abroad to a different studio in uh, Wales, in fact. And uh, that is, you know, that is quite a distance from uh, Toronto, Canada. So that's exciting, you know, different environment. Uh, new instruments, all the band members uh, started playing new instruments for this album. This is also the first album where synth keyboards were an integral part of the sound. Now, this album was recorded in 1976, or released in 1977, actually, on January 1st, I believe. And uh, this was only about half a year later, uh, after 2112. Hope you're all doing good, by the way. I had to change my shirt. It was getting too hot in that one, so... We're just going to continue with the green, forest green. Before we get into it, head over to my Patreon where you can get early rush uploads, probably like a week in advance. Blah, 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 blah. This is really new for Alex Lifeson. Yeah, I haven't heard this uh, kind of, what is it, like a Spanish kind of style? Yeah, a little bit. Let's just go back a little bit. Yeah. This is so cool hearing Neil finally on the bells and the chimes. Uh, I can't tell what exactly that is, but it's it's refreshing, you know, hearing synth becoming part of their sound. This is really cool. All right. liking the sound of this one so far like it sounds like very medieval still but with a southern rock little twang to it it's really really interesting and i love getty's melody 
with his voice. You know, this sounds like it could be from like Caress of Steel or something. This is really cool. I can't get over the amount of tempo changes, rhythm changes in this song. What really tripped me up was like, you know, two minutes ago when that whole just uh, offbeat uh, rhythm change from the drums and the bass, dude. That was sick. That was sick. This whole song is like really, really cool. It's like, you know, progressive, yet it's like... Um, it feels like it could really be off of Cress of Steel, like the first half of Cress of Steel. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea what the uh, lyrics were about. I have a feeling it's some kind of statement on some kind of political statement, maybe. So uh, why don't you help me out with the uh, lyric analysis in the comments? Very interesting. I like how they um, open up. I like how they've opened up Crest of Steel and uh, this album with a sort of kind of little uh, what feels like a little history kind of song, like a. Uh, I don't know, it has this sense of, like, elegance to it. A little bit of Mozart, if you will. Uh, anyways, uh, that was A Farewell to Kings. Uh, really cool song. I can't wait to listen to it for a second time. So now, we're about to move into Xanadu, which I've already reacted to, but I haven't heard the studio version. I've only, uh, seen the, um, the, uh, live version. Uh, alright, so let's get into it.
You hear birds chirping. Uh, yes, I re I'm remembering now. Here's Alex opening up with uh, his pedal. Uh, that's really cool. I love this effect. It sounds like, you know, strings. I mean, of course it's strings, but like, you know, like a violin or something. It sounds so cool. And Neil with his percussion in the back. That is just adding so much uh, like forest-like vibes to this. This is so cool. I'm remembering what this sounds like now. Like, I forgot entirely what Xanadu even sounds like, so because I haven't listened to it since my reaction. Anyways, let's just jump back into it. Love the synth, dude.
seek the sacred river out To walk the caves of ice To break my fast on honeydew And drink the milk of paradise Oh yeah, here comes my favorite part. But first off, what's the story here? This has to be some story, right, that Neil just made up, right? Xanadu is probably something like an anagram for something. Uh, help me out. But so far, I'm loving the use of synth, the use of Neil's percussion to take us elsewhere, dude. We are going so many places in this song. First, we went to like a forest, and then we were in a big city. This is all just my imagination based on the instruments, dude. Yeah, no, this is such a good song so far. I I need to listen to this song again. It's like another 2112, just like more fantastical, dude. It's like they wanted to take it a step further. All right, let's, uh, let's go back into that. To stand within the pleasure dome decreed by Kubla Khan.
what a powerful song, dude. You know, I still, I don't really know what it's about, but uh, thinking about it real quick, by the decree of Kublai Khan, trapped in ice or something? I don't know, dude. Please help me out. What was this song about, dude? Xanadu, the prison of the lost. What does it mean? <laughs> All right. So, fabulous song. Fabulous performed live as well. Seriously, that song is like, I can't get over how cool the synth is in that song and how well it told a story. Uh, all right, next up is Closer to the Heart. Dude, I think I've heard this song before. Let's start it over. I might have heard this one before. This song is tight, dude. I love it. It's like a mix between like a radio friendly classic rock song, but with their new sound, it's it's great. Um, and yes, I have heard the song before, uh, but like, I didn't know this was Rush. Like seriously, like, wow. Okay, let's just go back a little bit. All right. This this uh, guitar riff is like legendary, dude. I've heard it forever, and I never knew this was Rush, dude. Dude, Alex has been pulling out some tight riffs in this album so far. Like, this is awesome. Had no idea this was Rush. All right, let's go back just a little bit. Wow. What a fantastic song. Yeah, no. 
I now I know which song off the album got the most radio play. <laughs> I'm betting 100 bucks. Oh, that was a great song. It's like a perfect mix between their old style and a new direction that they're going in. That was that was awesome. All right. Uh, next, Cinderella Man.